students are down or they have a lot on their mind, they see John, you know, he gets their spirits up. So I think they look forward to seeing him, you know, working on the trees, working in the pathway, working on the grass. Uh, he makes her day. John, it's nothing but nice to you, saying hi and praising you and wishing you the best of a day and asking you how your day went. He actually knows everybody on campus, I think. He doesn't just say hi to people, he knows who you are. If you say thank you, he'll say thank you back. If you say have a nice day, he'll have some comment. You can never get the last word in. That's just amazing. John Tucci is a uh, testament to the strength of the human spirit. He's found happiness that a lot of people don't get to see. From the time I was a, a, a young boy, I also always uh, was following in the church and uh, you know trying to abide by the, the right way of life. And uh, thank God for real good parents uh, that brought me up through the church and uh, taught me about the everyday life because they're very humble people and they really teach the way life is really intended to be. So what makes me me is a very strong faith in God and a humbleness to be completely open to God in the way He guides you. Um, in your everyday life. Uh, God gives you all different kind of gifts and blessings uh, when you're open to Him and you really recognize Him in every everyday life, whatever you're doing. He always got one hand raised and one hand on the shovel. He's always digging and waving at people all day. He's more than consistent. John, uh, he keeps the troops motivated. Uh, his determination, his attitude. Since he's got this job, he's never worked ground that much before as he did now but he he schools himself he goes to Phipps he goes to the Civic Garden Center for classes at night in the horticulture uh, and I was working at Robert Morse uh, in the night term and uh, I got promoted on a daylight into the grounds crew and uh, I was real happy about that. And then it really opened the door while I was, you know, doing grounds work out there and beautifying the campus and the uh, everyday experiences. I got to, to meet so many people because uh, you work in daylight, you get to see all the people, greet them or encourage them or compliment them. And uh, always, you know, would talk to them about uh, the everyday things in life. You know, when I was at lunchtime on break, I would, you know, talk to them. And, then pray for them a lot of time, that you can really be an inspiration as a single man into vocation and uh, as an everyday person by your example in life and the way you live and the way that you share that, you know, caringness, kindness and love to people that you really can inspire a lot of people because they have that opportunity too, if they want it, they have that opportunity too to experience that joy and happiness and love in their lives too. I was playing third baseman and I've made a couple of errors, so they decided to put Tucci out there and made great plays. I mean, yeah, I admit it, he's a better fielder than I am. I never played baseball. That was an interesting thing. Like everything is completely guided by completely guided by God and any anything you really do when you're open to God. And uh, it was one of those things where I was down wanting to play on a team and I was uh, leaving and wanted to know in the fall when they were starting to play, I started to uh, see this group together and uh, completely just asked them if I could just practice with them and uh, practice with them and, and really got to uh, get to know them just by that practice and uh, had known them before and uh, it went from there. I got to play on a team and seen the way I played and we just had a great time. Last semester, I had um, the most pleasant experience receiving a phone call from John Tucci in my dorm room. There was an opportunity to, uh, to do a karaoke thing where I went to, and right after choir practice, I uh, went up there and uh, knew what time it was and got involved in that. I knew there was a lot of good groups with outfits and did a lot of singing and harmonizing. And I said, well, I'll just go out and just have fun and get everyone into it. And it was the most incredible show in the world. He danced, he sung, he had the entire crowd going. The crowd must have been 330 kids, for real, honest to God. And he had everybody going, clapping, singing, yelling, Tooch, go Tooch, go Tooch. And he just had a smile from ear to ear. It was so incredible. Sang Alabama, play me some loud music. And uh, during the fiddle part, I did some uh, serious dancing like the uh, Irish River dancers and step dancing. Second round came up. And the second round was that I went into the audience and I had someone choose a song. And I kind of winged it for him because I knew he wouldn't know all the popular music. 
So I saw one sitting on top and I told the audience member, I said, pick the one on top. Because I had to put in some old music for him. It happened to be Respect by Aretha Franklin. So he got up there and he didn't know all the words and he was just like, R-E-S-P-E-C-C. <laughs> it was so cute. And again, he had the crowd going, wow. Well, to make a long story short, he ended up taking first place. It was an incredible experience because, you know, I just wanted to have fun and get everyone into it and just, you know, enjoy the experience of it all. And I ended up winning this real big trophy, and uh, it's a true honor. They said there's one person on campus that talks to them all the time, no matter where they see them, they wave, and they'll say, how are you, or they have something good to say, and that's Tooch. You spend uh, at least 5, 10, 15 minutes or a couple of days, you know, passing them just in passing. Um, you don't understand what you know, John has in mind when he's, when he's like this, why he acts like this. You always have the time if you really want to. I, I try to, uh, to, you know, when I, I first meet new people, I, I try to, you know, greet them or encourage them and, or compliment them and try to do it very sincerely and uh, try to do it with a lot of meaning. When you're a child, all you hear is don't do that, no, don't do this, no, 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 no. You develop a very negative attitude about things in life. You become apathetic and disconnected. And John has a very connected and non-apathetic attitude and it's contagious because it's different. It is effective and it affects you. Start talking to each other. When you're walking by someone, you know, say hi or how are you or as the, the 2001 expression is, what's up? type thing and um, you know that's a way to start a friendship or start a conversation or get to know someone. There's so many different gifts that he's given to all people it's just a matter of you finding them being open to them because I'm a living witness of true joy and happiness share that love joy and happiness to everyone I see everywhere I go and try to reach out to people as much as I can help them but also help make them help them find it so that they can find that too because everyone is intended to be happy and to live joyful lives and I just truly love people and an honor to uh, be able to send this message out and I also wanted to close with a, with a prayer to pray for all of you out there and know that God can help all of you in many many ways because everyone is intended to live a joyful and happy life. In the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, we thank you, O oh Lord, for all the wonderful gifts you've given to us in everyday life because we know, Lord, that we know that you are with us always, holding us in hands in life, and know that you will always be with us in a special way. Lord God, as always, we thank you, and we come to you always, Lord, and praise your holy name in everything we do. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless all of you, and I love all of you. Have a good day. God bless all of you. God bless you. Love all of you. Take care.